Okay guys, so it is the following day from when I got my computer and had my dress freak out. Uh, I'm on my way to the seamstress right now and praying that she can salvage this and figure something out for me. Uh, she's done a few dresses for me before, obviously never anything as significant as a, um, as a wedding gown, wedding dress, whatever. I'm, I'm like blacking out on the word wedding dress, honestly, because it's been such a pain. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that Mary's can pull through. Okay, we're gonna go in there and see. See what happens. Oh my gosh, you guys. Mary's came in so clutch. Um, she's awesome. I think that it's gonna end up being perfect, which yesterday I didn't think anything was ever gonna happen at all. So that's a big, big update, big change. Very, very excited. And in fact, I will have it ready a week before my wedding because it needs to for the steaming to a lot for time for steaming um but actually what's gonna happen is it's gonna be ready a week early in time for me to sew on the buttons which hopefully I get we'll see um yeah, my dress, the way that it is, it doesn't really need steamed, and Mary, the, the, the seamstress, she even said, she's like, your dress doesn't need steamed, like, you can press the under layer of it if you want, um, but it kind of has, like, this lace overlay, and she's like, it, it doesn't need steamed, so that's good, because just to have a gown steamed, she just told me how much it costs, and it blew me away. She said that, yeah, if I take it back to the dress shop that I bought the dress from, that it's a hundred dollars. I'm like, please. I have a steamer myself. I have an iron. I could, I'll, I'll figure that out. I'm not going to pay a hundred freaking dollars to have something steamed. Ridiculous. Um, but update on that. That's, that's good. One thing down and it's a major thing. So that's really, whew. That's really good. Today is going to be a very productive day. Um, so right now, I'm going to go get frames. Um, me and Matt have both lost our dads. I lost mine when I was really, really young. Um, he lost his as a, a young adult. My, my dad passed when I was about eight. Um, if you're interested in a story on that or what happened, um, I'd happily make a video about it. I've done a lot of grief counseling for myself and for others, and uh, I think it's important. It's important to talk about your loss and have everybody know that they're not alone when they're feeling angry, sad, happy. Anyways, um, yeah, let me know if that's something you're interested in. Uh, but we both lost our dads, and uh, he has also lost his sister. So we're going to have frames sit on chairs, three chairs in the front row, and I'm going to get framed pictures of them. They're either going to sit on the chairs, or they're going to sit on a table at the very back of all of the chairs, and I'm going to make like a sign like in memory, you know, for, the, for those who can't be here today. Um, I guess it's something I can kind of talk about right now. Um, the hardest thing I think for a young girl losing her dad, I mean, not only just not having a dad, I had a great, a phenomenal stepdad who raised me. Um, but not having your biological dad as a girl to give you away, um, on your wedding day is, uh, it's hard. <laughs> it's something that I've thought about for my entire life. I mean, about, about the, you know, about a year after his loss, I started realizing all the things later in life that maybe that would affect. And uh, my wedding day was always one of them. I didn't even know that I really, that I wanted to get married. I didn't, that was never a dream of mine. I was never a girl 
who her whole life dreamt of her wedding day and had it all planned by the time she was 12. And you know, that was, that wasn't me. I just didn't see that, but I knew that if I did get married, he wouldn't be there for it and to give me away. Um, but I have my stepdad there and honestly, I would have had both of them giving me away. So, um, I'm glad, I'm glad that I have my stepdad in my life and I'm going to actually have him and my mom both of them walk me down the aisle and give me away. I really wanted to include my mom more. I didn't find out that you could, that some, it's kind of a trend right now for moms to be your maid of honor. <laughs> I, I totally would have done that if I would have known that that was a thing. Um, I don't know. I think that would have been a lot of pressure on her though. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go in. I'm going to go and get those frames for the pictures um, look around for a little bit. I got about an hour to kill, so I'm going to try to get that done. And I also think I'm going to try to find the stuff for the signs that I need to make in Michael's. We'll see. All right. So another, another thing done, which is awesome. Um, I ended up getting two of these. It's kind of a sage green color, which is one of our colors. Um, so I got two of these for each of our dads. This is a five by seven. And then I got this one, which is a maroon color. Colors just don't quite show up well on my crummy phone. Um, but this one I'll put his sister's picture in. Uh, I was so happy that they had a maroon one though, because maroon, sage green, and blush are our colors. And I think those are gonna look, that I couldn't have found anything better really. Sorry, all that, all that noise just covered up what I was saying. Um, I couldn't have found anything better if I tried. So, I'm very excited about that. I still have about 45 minutes till I need to be back to my work and I wish I could ask you guys for your advice. Would my time be better spent looking for a desk type thing at Bed Bath & Beyond or at Ross. I'm going to try for Ross because I don't have a ton of money right now, probably because I just bought a $2,000 computer. Um, so I'm going to go to Ross and hope that I can get a good deal. And we'll see. I, I am like so limited for space that I don't know why I got a computer that is amazing massive. I mean, the it's not, it's all in one. It's just that screen, but I got the biggest screen, you know, had to go for the best. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing about me brag about my new computer, but guys, I'm excited. And like, you can't tell me you wouldn't be too, if you got one of those. So we're going to go into Ross and see if we can find that baby, a little shelf for it to sit on. And that'll be that. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was literally, oh, fuck. that was literally so perfect. Other than it being super busy in there, I walked back to the furniture. I saw this thing. You can't see it very well. Let's see. Um, anyways, it's this table. I bet that footage is going to be terrible, but it actually collapses to be flat, which is perfect for apartment life. It's the right color. My bedroom's all in that like seafoam green, tealish kind of color. I'm I'm like ecstatic. I couldn't believe it. I walked back there, I see it like <laughs> boom, this is like exactly what I had in mind. I didn't want a full-fledged desk that had a bunch of drawers and stuff. I already have that. It's my little makeup station. Uh, it's where I get ready every day. So I didn't want to have to destroy that. Um yeah, I'm just, I'm so thrilled with that. And the, once again, it's at Ross and it was like a hundred dollar item that I just got for 50 bucks. $50 to spend at Ross, in my opinion, is quite a bit. Uh, but for a piece of furniture, especially like that, that's really heavy duty, um, it's great. I'm super happy. Now, I need to go grab something quick to eat and head back to work before I get my hair cut.
tell you, tell you the story of my hair. So my hair, I have always had really short hair. The longest my hair's ever been was like <laughs> shoulder length, naturally. Um, and so I, I really wanted long hair for my wedding. I have been growing this out. Literally, I knew that I was gonna marry Matt the day that we met. Um, and I have wanted long hair for forever, uh, for my entire life, but I've just never had the patience to do it. So when I met Matt, I was like, I would like long hair for my wedding, and I started growing it out then. My hair was this long, uh, just chin length, and I've grown it out, I mean, quite a bit. It's like, it ends about here, so like right, right to where a bra strap would be across your back. Um, the thing with my hair is that it's really thin. In the midst of growing it out, I made a major mistake and I bleached it all and I dyed it blue. And that caused getting, that was fine, but then getting the blue out, that's what caused a lot of damage. So I lost a lot of length then. And then probably this much of my hair still, this was all, all this ends was damaged from the bleach still it's just covered up with brown. Um, so I, I just, I, I ruined it and I loved my blue hair. I cried when I had to get rid of it and I've never cried over hair in my life before. So anyways, uh, my hair, I was like, I'm going to grow it out. I'm going to have this long, beautiful hair for my wedding, blah, blah, blah. Well, that didn't, that's just not working out for me. Like my hair is too thin to look good. It's not only thin, but my strands are really, really fine. It's really super uneven because of the way that it's like had breakage. And I mean, it's like, it's still pretty short in the front, but then in the back, it's like way longer. I just, I'm not liking it. I'm not happy. I feel like I'm trying so hard for my wedding to like have this perfect image and it's not me. Like. Sam is short hair. That's what I've always had. And I think I have my hair appointment today and I might chicken out, but I honestly think I'm going to end up cutting it all off. I mean, I won't go chin length, but I'm thinking like a really long shoulder length bob or like a line would be really, really cute. I honestly think I'm going to end up wearing my hair in kind of some sort of like low updo anyways, in which case it doesn't matter if I have real long hair or not. <laughs> so like all these three years of like stressing and like being miserable with my hair, the only thing I like about it being long is that I can just throw it up in a, in a bun really quick. The problem with that is also that that's all I ever do is have it up. I mean, I have it down today because today I washed it and cause, cause I need to go get it cut so it can't really be up. Um, but yeah, that's the hair saga. Also when I film because I'm such a rambler and I never have a point, once I go to edit these, I'm like, God, how are you going to clip them together, dude? Think about things before you speak, but I can't. I'm just out here trying to share what's going on in my life and my head. And this is it. So I am home. I wanted to show you guys my hair really quickly. Uh, it's very short. She got like over a foot off of it, I think, which I'm really excited about. Like that's, there's no, no harm in that. I needed it and I feel so much better. Um, I could go on and on and I kind of have to everyone around me today about how I wanted long hair so bad for my wedding that I spent three years growing it out and here uh, three weeks before the wedding I decided to chop all the, all the growth off. Um, but I love it. You can kind of see it maybe from the sides. I got like a real hard A-line. Um, I kept my bangs kind of grown out. I used to have like kind of side swooped bangs, but I'd been growing those out too. Um, I'll insert some pictures of the before and after here so you guys can kind of see like a better picture because this is not doing, probably doing it justice. It's also a massive mess because I just spent so much time reorganizing my room. Um, I'm sweaty and gross, it's hot, but I needed to make room for my new computer. I'm gonna gonna film a little unboxing of that right now and then finally get it set up and I am so excited. All right, so that's the 
that's the hair update for you. Uh, stay tuned. Don't know if the computer thing will be here or not, but we'll figure out that footage sometime. Subscribe so you don't miss it.